Iceland, one of the best countries in the world to road trip. An Arctic island nation notorious for its dramatic landscapes with geysers, hot springs, lava fields, and central volcanoes that are erupting almost constantly. A land so peaceful that there is no standing army. A culture so spontaneous just like its environment. I thought long and hard about it and there was no better place to bring my editing crew for an adventure in team bonding. Is Iceland on your bucket list? Well, now it will be, because we're about to show you the 15 best things to do around the island on a three-day road trip. Dude, good to meet you. Good to meet you yeah. in real life. There he is. What's up, man? Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't meet you. Oh, man. good to see you, bro. Crazy morning. We're about to head on an epic Iceland road trip. Do you have any clue where we're going? No. Nah. Idea. Who's excited? Woo! <laughs> Here we go. Hey, buddy. Oh. I'm gonna eat my shirt. They're like more furry, right? All right, we are waiting at the famous geyser slash blowhole, which Jack saw from the car. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> he got it. Yeah. Pretty cool. Holy <laughs> shit. Do we want to go down and like get drenched, or go and get the view up top? Down. I see YOLO down. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay, fine. Let's go down. <laughs> Whoa, it's right out here. <laughs> None of us know where we are, but that's what it's called. Grabrock gar gar. <laughs> I see a staircase. We should go up that way. This feels more like the ice than I thought we would get. Cold rain. Where are we going, fellas? Alright, AJ. Look at that. Yeah, that that's a crater, I think. Oh, dang. There's your first volcano. Right there. That's a volcano. It's a small one. That? Yeah. That's, that's a baby. That's, that's a baby. That's grab grok a garg <laughs> Well, it's not. It's not an active volcano. You're what? You're walking on the lava. Iceland is so cool. You can just road trip around and stop in random places like here. I'm, I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce the name because I don't know the name. Grab or something, and you get beautiful, stunning natural wonders like volcanoes. All right, after a long day of driving, we are rolling up to our cottage for the night. It should be interesting. Where do you guys think the check-in is? We look like a bunch of dumb Americans and one, yeah. and Brit. <laughs> Americans and Brit. <laughs> really? Hello. Someone can help us. Hi, I'm, I'm at the cottage, but nobody's here to check in. All right, we have house number 24 near the river. I just called them. He said, go. Why? I decided to try out the swings and now I'm covered in oil and oh, something else. I mean, I don't know what this is. Ew. 23. This one. Yeah, 24. Oh, right by the river. Check this out. River and boom, 24. We definitely gotta have some beers out here. This is awesome. This is a it looks awesome. Yeah, do it. Hi, Jack. <laughs> this is like the only restaurant in town. It's 
Cheers to first day in Iceland. Thank you. Of course, man. Yeah, it's, uh, we did, obviously, we had French fries. Yeah. Literally, like, we That's pretty proper. That dinner was pretty phenomenal. We all agreed it was great. Now we're all exhausted from jet lag. It doesn't get dark. It doesn't get dark. How are we going to sleep when it's so light outside? That's melatonin. Melatonin. Oh. It's midnight and it's so bright outside. I haven't slept in two days and this 24 hours of sunlight certainly doesn't help. AJ, explain to me what's happening right now in your life. Well, I wanted to check out this amazing church, this scenic church. So cool. Just out here somewhere in northwestern Iceland, church, graveyard, and abandoned house. That's, that's powerful. I think the whole town is uh, walking this way. Yeah. The whole town of five cows and 17 sheep. <laughs> we're cruising around Akureyri. I don't know if we're saying that right, but it's the second largest city in Iceland. And it's really a town of 18,000 people, which is very ironic. That's how small Iceland is. I'm right. down to try most. Yeah. Yeah. It looks super up here. You know what's good too? Because they have no decorations or pictures yeah. on the truck. It's just Low key. white truck. Looks <laughs> like you got it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, man. Are you Mo? Who I look like? I don't know what Mo looks like. I don't care if you are at home. Oh, so Mo's just a guy. Alright, fellas. Everybody happy? We got our fish, fish and chips at Moe's truck. Moe's not the friendliest guy. We don't like Moe. <laughs> Alright boys, what are we doing right now? What are we doing right now? We're whale going watching. whale watching. I surprised them, kind of surprised them with a the whale watching Until tour. Until AJ spoiled Yeah. AJ figured it out. Three hour ride onto the sea. This is pretty cool though. Which boat is it? Is this this, this boat? It looks like Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> How'd you get into sailing? Well, uh, I was the unlucky one of my brothers and I got the jeans from our dad. So I, I was the one that got the Seamanship. <laughs> so your whole life you've been sailing on boats? No, I, I took a break from like uh, around three until I was uh, 13. <laughs> what attracts you to this lifestyle? I don't know. Really? Nature? Yeah, well I can't explain it. It's, uh, it's just something, yeah. if I stay on land for too long I just get, get restless. We have our first whale sail. Hey bro, nice meeting you, thank you. Enjoy. Take it easy. You too. Enjoy the bath. One of the best things about Iceland is the hot springs, the geothermal baths that are just completely natural. Like these, right here. Oh man. Oh, that burning sensation of being so hot. Oh, nice. Langston's in his element right now. I could do this all day, every day. Fantastic. This is great. I feel like we're gonna be here for at least 30 minutes. Everybody sleeping in here or no? Yeah, it's uh, about midnight and we are pulling up to <laughs> play around of golf. Langston, what's up? What's up, boys? I'm gonna take my pants off real quick. We're gonna let's, do a little let's, strip tease for you, boys. Good, good content. It is 12 a.m. midnight and I'm about to play golf in Iceland. Let's go.
Boom, baby! Birdie! Let's see. How you doing, bro? I'm good. So, what do you, what do you uh, recommend? What's like the best thing to eat here? Uh, I recommend the pizzas. Ooh. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. It's gooey. This is the only restaurant within 30 square miles. What do you do for fun? Because it seems to be pretty slow around here. Yeah, we go swimming. There's like a heated swimming pool down there. Play sports. There's a big sports center also down there. And just go in the forest and stuff like that. Very casual. And play PlayStation. <laughs> I did that. So many people want to come here. Like so many tourists. Like how does that make you feel? Like do you feel proud that your country is so beautiful? Yeah, we, we're proud of it. And it's uh, brought a lot of revenue in for us. Just, you know, and jobs as well. But, um, but it's a little bit more cluttered. We're losing the space a little bit and uh, we're just trying to watch out that the nature doesn't go. About to get a COVID test here in Iceland, in Akureyri, Iceland, which is the northern part of the country. Got to get one to enter the US still. <laughs> Might be the only place that I've never had to give a security check for bags. You literally just show up and get on the plane. I'm falling to pieces. <laughs> I'm falling to pieces. This big church in Reykjavik is absolutely one of the most beautiful churches in the world. It's right up there with Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. I mean, Look at this thing. Every time I come to Reykjavik, I stand in this exact spot and I'm just amazed. I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, I got the fly. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is a rye bread with mushed fish, rye bread with smoked trout, uh, flat bread with smoked lamb, trout fish with water, and in the middle it's shark. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. I actually got shark. I know. Awesome. You made it. You got it. These guys are trying shark which is a delicacy in Iceland. No, F. You know <laughs> the salt goes no, right no, down no, your no, throat. Sure. It's just, I feel like I'm breathing salt now. Yeah. It's just... It lingers in my nostrils too. I can yeah. like, it's, it's like, like a, all up in here. Like, <laughs> it's like a nymphal had a shark flavor. <laughs> so I'm getting right now. The shark, not good. And I wouldn't advise people eating shark anyways from the beginning, so. Not a good. Save the shark. Save the shark. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's she's, 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 she's just done it over you. Yeah. About 11 p.m. Hitting, hitting the town of Reykjavik. Whiskey gingers tonight. That's what he says. We follow the lead. Well, there you have it. 15 epic things we accomplished on our 72 hour road trip across Iceland. Which of these experiences do you want to try the most? Huge shout out to my editors Jack and Langston and my production manager AJ for making this trip a spur of the moment, laugh filled adventure. I encourage all of you to start planning your next road trip with your close friends, wherever it may be. And I hope Iceland will be at the top of your list. Stay safe out there and I'll see you guys in the next video.
I'm Drabinski and thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe in the bottom left if you want to see more raw travel stories and check out my main channel down right where I bring you on the most epic adventures from every country. Also, I'm giving away for free all my best flight hacks on that middle link. Until next time, stay safe, be spontaneous, and just go.